the lord says this is the time where my angels my angels are at work i see the angel of the lord is setting the captives free breaking the chains the same angel who released paul and silas Today, every wicked doors that the enemy is closing, I see the angel of the Lord, the warring angels are fighting and opening those doors for the righteous. Amen. 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 The Lord says the righteous shall live. It was an injustice that Paul and Silas were put into prison. But God sent an angel. The Lord says today, the Lord says I have assigned an angel in this city. And the assignment is to bring breakthrough, open door, hallelujah. The Lord says, I have set an open door before you. No one can shut. No man can shut. Hallelujah. I see the Lord is really breaking the weapons of the enemy. Enemy's weapons are frozen in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord says the enemy's Strategies are confused today. Amen. They cannot progress with their strategy anymore. Amen. Everything that the enemy is organizing is going to collapse in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord says my breakthrough, elevation and prosperity is going to come upon the land, come upon the nation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Nothing can stop. My move, says the Father. Hallelujah. This is the season of elevation. This is the season of breakthrough. This is the season of supernatural deposit and blessings. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. Even this morning, the presence of God is so rich and thick in this place. The Lord says, this is the place where my evangelists and prophetic people will arise. And this is the place where a lot of prophetic birth happened in the history. The Lord told that Chicago, God has orchestrated, ordained and planned to raise his people, his prophetic anointed people, apostolic people to raise the banner of victory. And this is the time. We have come to such a time as this that the Lord is going to shake the wilderness through each one of you. Amen. And it is going to be powerful. It is going to be supernatural. I have two things that the Lord wanted me to share in regards to America and also regards to Chicago, in respect <coughs> to Chicago. So, the Lord told me yesterday, the move of the Holy Spirit is going to be so evident in this state going forward, the move of the power of the Holy Spirit is going to be so enlightened and so much of glory, so much of breakthrough and deliverance. You're going to see that in this state and also in the nation. That is going to be something victorious and marvelous miracle that the Lord is going to break out in this state. Many churches are going to be formed, prophetic churches. It is going to bring breakthrough in the nation especially in this place. And uh, you will also see a lot of home churches going to birth out in this state. The Lord is going to bring a lot of home churches. And um, yes, when the enemy is really taking the major churches into a different direction, God is raising the home churches. Like at the time of Israel and Jerusalem, where Jesus came and then the home churches was predominantly shaking the world. From there, they came to every part of the world, to, to the west, to the east, to the Asia, every place. It is just from the home church the missionaries were sent. They were not sent from any big background, but they are sent from the home church. I, I strongly felt in my spirit, the Lord told, I'm rekindling that home church movement in this nation. In addition to the mega churches and other churches that the Lord has in place, but God is also going to start something new. It's a double fold, double edged sword. Amen. Both the edges, the main facing churches and also the home churches. For God, everything is a church. He's going to use a double edged sword to cut the enemy's throat. And God is going to move forward and press on. 
the enemy will be paralyzed he cannot able to move forward hallelujah yes he cannot able to accelerate in the direction and god is going to do extraordinary things in each one of your life marvelous wonders are going to happen and the lord told me concerning the two word one is the move of the holy spirit so i wanted you to know that the whole earth was in chaos and so much of this organized and darkness was surrounding that was the time we see that the holy spirit he was able to bring order in the midst of chaos the lord says that now is the time that i the lord will bring order in the city and the state of this illinois and god is going to bring order how many of you believe that the lord can able to bring order in the midst of chaos when you see a lot of lawlessness and chaos that is the time god brings order and establishments and that is going to be a protection and safety for god's people and because of that others will also be blessed when the angels are protecting angels are in action so there was a time where the 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 people who are wicked they tried to harm lot and his family but god sent his angel to protect his family to secure him yeah. so the lord is going to send his angels to protect the righteous you are the righteous today and god is going to send his angels in this city where there is no protection in many places but the lord says my protection angels are going to come with you guard you guide you and accelerate you Amen. so this is going to be a powerful season this is going to be the season of amazing order amazing blessings yeah. the lord is going to vindicate powerfully the lord says it is not by power not by might but by my spirit says the lord the spirit of god is hovering upon this city and the state you know like this this last night when i landed here there was a the breeze the air is so thick and uh, it can you can feel it in your bones i you know like i i felt that i believed that you know like god spoke to me and he said the anointing flows through our bones it's like the way how you feel this the the wind that goes deeper into your bone that is the spirit of god's move is much more deeper than that <laughs> but in a good way so i strongly believe there is something very unique that the lord is moving in this state in this city and in the nation and that is going to be an amazing revival the lord says that in john 16:26 helper the holy spirit whom the father will send in my name he sent in his name in the father's name he will teach you all things and bring you to remember all i have said to you so the spirit of god is going to move so richly and thickly in this place and in this nation and when he teaches people eyes will be enlightened people will take the right choices even 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 unbelievers when they are filled with the move of the holy spirit they will come into repentance salvation so this nation needs the move of the holy spirit like never before when the move of the holy spirit happens then the harvest will happen Amen. when the harvest happens the enemy's plans will be pushed back because there won't be much people left to execute the plans of the enemies so it is really important so god's spirit is going to move powerfully so god is sending his amazing rich anointing to bring forth a powerful breakthrough and powerful deliverance and there was a time where we see that the israelites they were constantly attacked by the enemy where the enemy they come to steal the crops that the israelites have prepared every year after year they prepare the crops every crops that you have hard earned in this city or in this state or in this nation when the enemy comes to steal that god will set things right the way how god really pushed back the enemy and stopped the stealing there is a spirit of stealing that is trying to operate against the people of god yes, yes, yes. and the lord says that i'm going to push back that stealing spirit Amen. and i will take back and give it to you what belongs to you yes. hallelujah yes. god is so righteous and just that's what amalekites and midianites and all those ites they came always they form a coalition or like they form a alliance with multiple people so that they bring and come together as the lawlessness yeah. yes. 
So, you know, like, um, um, it's really important for us to pray for these alliances to be broken. Yes. Yeah, so, because the enemy knows together they are strong, so they can able to attack more. So, that's why, like, always we see that whenever the enemy comes against Israel, they always form the last minute alliance. They form like a bluff. That's why even today, like Hamas and Hezbollah and uh, Iran and um, uh, Houthi rebels, they don't come individually. See the, you can see that today. It's, it's, uh, the Bible is 100% true. In those days, like it is Amalekites and Midianites and all those ites. And today it is like a little bit different name, but same people, new brand. That's it. So that is the patterns of the enemy. That's why God says that like the schemes of the enemies are not something going to surprise you. You always know the patterns of the enemy, the schemes of the enemy. But when the enemy comes against you like a flood, the Lord says that he will guard you, guide you, protect you, yes. safeguard you through the Spirit of God. Yes. He's going to protect you. That's what exactly God did. God raised Gideon. God told me yesterday about Gideon. He's going to raise a lot of Gideons in the state of Chicago. And I strongly believe God is raising Gideons, people who are afraid and fearful, trembling of all the violence or anything that's going around, any spirit of stealing or any spirit of lawlessness. God raised Gideon. And along with Gideon, 300 other people. They all are homemade. They are not something, uh, they are just ordinary people. God always uses the ordinary people and do extraordinary things. I strongly believe today, He's going to use each one of you who gathered here. And He's going to do extraordinary things. You are going to be leaders. Each one of you are going to be leaders in this nation, in the spiritual realm. God is going to anoint you. In the enemy's kingdom, there are rankings. There are rankings in the enemy's kingdom. God's kingdom, He also appoints leaders, apostles and prophets, teachers and evangelists, all of them are leaders, unique purpose in the body of Christ. So similar to our body. So today the Lord says that I'm going to raise leaders. Each one of you are going to raise above leaders. The Lord says in your weakness, my spirit will strengthen you. Amen. In the time of your scarcity, the Lord says my spirit will strengthen you. My spirit will anoint you. And the Lord says that spirit himself intercedes for us, with us, within us, groanings too deep for words. The Lord is going to fill each one of us with the mighty power of the Spirit. It is, it is not Gideon's ability or his background. He told, I'm coming from a very, very basic background and I'm coming from a background where they are very weak, very meek and they are last, they are lost, they are least. And I cannot be able to fight this Midianites and Amalekites who are very strong, they are rebels. But then God told, it is I who send you. I am the Lord who is sending you. It's not anybody else. It's not Israel. It is not nobody is sending you. It is I the Lord who created everyone. I'm the one who is sending you. Go for it. So today God is sending you to dismantle the stronghold spiritually. To uproot the wicked plans of the enemy spiritually. As you do things spiritually, you see the physical manifestation happen. Whatever you bind on this earth, it will be bound. Whatever you lose, it will be loosed in the name of Jesus. You are going to see the Spirit of God going to give you the authority and dominion to bind the things in Chicago that needs to be bound and loose the things in Chicago and this whole state of Illinois that needs to be loosed in the name of Jesus. It is going to be the powerful season, powerful season of elevation. This is going to be the powerful season of victory. The Lord is going to do mighty wonders and marvelous miracles in this place like never before. Amen. How many of you are ready for the powerful move of God and the glory of God? Hallelujah. Yes. The Lord told me that the eyes of the Lord is over this city and the state of Illinois and Chicago. The Lord told me that my eyes are looking for my people. My eyes are looking. My eyes are looking for my people. And I, the Lord, will bring restoration and wholeness in this community. So I'll bring restoration and wholeness. God is going to bring a supernatural restoration Amen. like you never imagined. And He's going to bring wholeness. There is something missing, wholeness. Yeah. The Lord told me specifically, father, fatherlessness is the crisis in this state. Yeah. Not only here in the state, it's a crisis, whole nation level. The whole yes, yeah. the fatherlessness. The Lord says that many, the statistics says that in this 
city of Chicago, unattended children are more compared to that of other places. Unattended or unmonitored children. Because there is not many adults are there to supervise or there to show the love. And that is one of the reasons why the next generation is growing in a different culture and different mindset. Yeah. The Lord is going to bring forth many, many leaders who will be fathers, yeah. who will really lead the next generation spiritually in a mighty way. And God is going to bring forth His spirit of father running to the children and children running to the father. That is this amazing season of restoration that can bring wholesome for the future. Amen. It is going to happen powerfully in this place. It's going to begin from here. The Lord says, I'm going to bring spiritual awakening in the hearts of the people here in Chicago and in the nation, America. There is going to be an awakening spirit. There is going to be a spirit of awakening. God wants to awake. The Lord told that do not sleep. Be awake. Do not slumber. Be awake. When you are awake in the spirit, you are always ready for anything that comes on your way. See, the enemy always going to come. He's not going to stop until God judge him on the last day and throw him in the fire forever. Yeah. But until that time, you need to be ready. I need to be ready. God says, that is why I'm calling my people to awaken in the spirit. Be strong in the spirit. God has equipped us. You know, uh, there is a fire station I have seen. Um, close to, not very close, like a little bit far away from my place. Whenever I cross that fire station, um, they are well equipped with everything they need to put off. Even in the midst of the fire, they can walk through if needed. So they are well equipped. God has equipped us with every spiritual weapon. We are, he, we are clothed with the armor of God. We are equipped with the armor of God. God wants us to fight that battle. God wants us to move forward. Hiding is not an option, but facing the enemy and overcome the enemy and the plans of the enemy is the only way. Take all the people in the Bible. Esther, she had to face. He had, she had. She has to face the Haman. She cannot hide herself. She hide herself in prayer for three days. Probably Haman did not see her for three days because she was fasting and praying. So, God wants us to pray, and you are going to see a powerful breakthrough in the nation. Things will overturn the whole nation. There was one wicked man, Haman. He was plotting the plans against the people and against the king and against the nation. Yeah. But through the prayer, we see that Esther, she decided, I'm going to face this Haman. He has, he's not bigger than my God. That's her attitude. He's not bigger than my Lord. He is going to be put on the same gallow he prepared for me and my uncle Mordecai. That was her attitude. So when your attitude changes, you will see mighty breakthrough. So that is her posture. Her posture is, I'm going to talk to the king. I'm going to reveal everything. I'm going to expose the plans of Haman. So when, the, when there is an exposure, then there is justice and judgment. The Lord says that enemy is exposed. The Lord says every enemy plans against your life and against the state, against the nation are being exposed. How it can be exposed? Through prayer, you can, when you pray, there will be the spirit of boldness, courage, and God will raise people to expose. So why Esther called the whole nation to fast and pray? She needed that boldness. But when we pray, God will give boldness to some leaders, some people who are in authority, and that boldness can be able to overturn everything for good. The Lord is going to overturn things in your life. He's going to transform things in your life radically. So we are here in this day, here in this Chicago. The Lord is going to overturn every plans of the enemy because the enemy is exposed. He has no place to hide. So he has to leave. That's why casting out of the enemy is so important. Even right now. So the Lord is going to bring down the territorial demons that are operating in this, in this place, in this state. There are territorial demons who have seen the territorially whatever the lawlessness and evil things that are done in this place, that the territorial demons will give birth to the same to continue to the next generation, next generation. But when those territorial demons are shattered, they cannot operate. They have to start from the scratch. Today, I strongly believe God is going to dismantle the territorial demons in this place. Hallelujah. He's going to dismantle the territorial demons that are trying to operate. And He's going to shake the foundation of those false altars and, and bail altars 
in this city and he is going to completely uproot and overthrow the enemy plants in this state this is going to be a powerful season this is going to be the powerful season of god's glory and god's victory the lord is going to do extraordinary things and marvelous things by bringing down those territorial demons and god told me that the spirit of poverty in this city and state is going to be broken the spirit of poverty is one of the things that we see the wealth is there but it is not in the right hands amen god is going to bring the wealth in the right hands righteous are the ones god has anointed and appointed to receive the wealth but it is in the wicked's hand god is going to dismantle the wicked's hand and he is going to bring the wealth in god's people's hand amen that is going to be the spirit of breakthrough that is going to break out in this place it's going to begin in this place every demons that are keeping the people in poverty will be broken enemy wants to drain the people you know we see that all these legal law cases that you see the lawsuit the whole point the of the demons behind them is to drain a person to drain them to make them powerless but god is going to reverse that today he is going to reverse that he is going to reverse the spirit that is draining you people spending like money on health or money on like a legal law cases unnecessary unwanted cases and draining the lord is going to reverse that whatever the areas where enemy is stealing from you by causing you to drain today it's going to be an end of the spirit of poverty in your life and god is going to bring the spirit of prosperity and breakthrough in the state and in your life hallelujah it is going to be powerful yes the lord is restoring the faith and vision in your life he's going to restore the faith and vision faith is the one of the things because without faith we cannot able to see the move of god in the nation or in the state or in your life and without faith we cannot receive anything from god and god says that i'm accelerating my faith in my people i'm rekindling my faith in my people and this is the time the lord is going to rekindle the faith so first thing i told is the move of the holy spirit in this place and in this nation is going to be so rich so rich it's going to be so rich so the spirit of god is going to bring forth a, a powerful restoration bible says that the love of god is poured into our hearts through holy spirit romans 55 so god is going to pour out his spirit like never before it is going to be a powerful season the lord says that my holy fire will fill the next generation the next generation has never tasted the holy fire of god the fire of god when the fire of god touches you and next generation it's going to tangibly change them radically change them it is that fire of god that really causes a person to live a life a set apart for god god is going to raise leaders who are going to set apart for god they are going to go for god and they are going to do anything and everything for the kingdom of god hallelujah yes it's going to happen the lord says that every strategy of the enemy against this state will be defeated every strategy enemy strategizes god also strategizes god knows where he need to raise leaders where he need to build church where he need to anoint a prophet where he need to appoint an apostle where he need to raise an evangelist where he need to raise a teacher where he needs to raise a father to nurture the children god knows exactly god strategizes everything accordingly and accordingly he give gifts accordingly he really gives the resources accordingly he gives the buildings accordingly he gives the provision providence everything god strategizes same way enemy also strategizes he strategizes war to inflict a killing war to have a gun violence war to form a gang and war to create this gang event and war to really create and drain the people and cause so much of devastation war to steal enemy also plans and strategizes but today the lord says that the plans of the strategy of the enemy will be exposed and defeated yes. hallelujah the lord is going to defeat because he plans not only at the state level or country level he he plans against individually he uses people against you to control manipulate but god is going to dismantle everything today Amen. hallelujah because when son of god sets you free you are free indeed and i strongly believe that the power of god is going to raise in this state and in your life to break every barriers to lay break every bondages and you are going to be undefeated in the name of jesus yes you know like how many times 
the enemy came against david many many times yeah. hundreds of times even saul the king who has all authority to kill someone in that time but he could not kill david Amen. when you are anointed you cannot be killed Amen. when you are anointed you cannot be Amen. you cannot go down you are anointed you are anointed for such a time as this yeah. that the lord wants you to raise the bow when you are anointed doesn't matter 100 legal cases comes against you when the anointing of god is on someone they cannot be that's right they cannot go down they will stand up they will come to their friend because that is the anointing anointing will take you to high places anointing of god will dismantle this is also the number one point of the holy spirit the anointing of the holy spirit will lead you and guide you you will become a barrier breaker someone the other day told You are ta- you are talking too fast are you from chicago they asked me i don't know if i sh- it's a co- i took it as a compliment <laughs> I, t- i took it as a compliment i don't know why they asked but anyway um i really love chicago the way how god i have been to chicago many times and every time i came here god gave a pleasant time and pleasant move and i f- i can able to feel um that the the lord is watching over chicago that's what i feel doesn't matter what others say every time i come to chicago i see that god is watching over his people Amen. in chicago and that's 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 my experience i have never experienced anything else but the strong eyes of god looking into this state Amen. god is really watching over this place specifically and uh, and god raised lot of spiritual leaders already he told me i raised lot of people here and this is just the beginning and it's going to give birth now we have come into the season of 2024 birthing season you all are going to raise as a leader and start ministries and start the church or start the uh, house church or like whatever the areas you are going to pull down the strongholds this is the birthing season for chicago spiritually from the leadership standpoint the lord is raising next generation leaders it's not about the age it is about the starting point Moses started at the age of 80 so age is nothing but a number i always say that it's true so it is about the anointing of god it's an, an, about the anointing of god amen so god's anointing will change us everything the lord told that like the strong man that is creating bondage in this city will be bound today how many of you believe the strong man that is really causing bondages in the city bondages will be bound the strong man creating the bondages in the city will be bound today will be bound today will be completely stopped today hallelujah when a strong man is bound when you when you really tie up a strong man he cannot be able to create bondages anymore he cannot create he cannot operate he cannot go and do anything that he planned to do and whose responsibility is to bind the strong man not the police responsibility it's our responsibility to bind the strong man in the spiritual realm so god is going to use each one of you today as we are going to pray the lord is going to really bind the strong man in the nation and also in the city so because god has given authority for us to do so so you can able to flexibly freely use that authority every every spirit of greed violence murder suicide self destruction in this city and the nation will be bound in the name of jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that jesus is lord and this is the time i see that is going to be a strong powerful thick anointing that's going to break the bondages and break the barriers and god is going to bring forth a powerful season of elevation god told me the second thing as a nation and as a, this is the second point that we are entering in first is the move of the holy spirit god's spirit is going to move and settle all the things in the in this nation and also in the state the second thing is god told that the whole nation and chicago and the whole nation like usa we have come to a point of standing before the red sea we we want the sea to be split open without that there is no going back the operation in order for all the operation and every everything that the enemy has been throwing at the nation must stop the only way is to see the red sea open amen. the lord told me that i will open the red sea amen. when my people gather together and look unto me and when they fix their eyes on me when they seek me and my kingdom and my righteousness you will see this sea open amen. 
for my glory. How many of you believe the Red Sea is going to open in the nation? Yes. The Red Sea is going to split open and you are going to walk through. You are going to walk in. You are going to walk forward, march forward. The Lord's power is going to come upon you. Hallelujah. This is the split open moment. This is the season and the moment where you are going to see the Pharaoh's army be destroyed in the same sea. But you and me, we are going to cross over, cross over. A cross over anointing is coming upon each one of you. How many of you believe? The cross over anointing, yes. This is the season of cross over. Hallelujah. So this nation is going to thrive and multiply. Hallelujah. Yes, every spirit of witchcraft. I, I heard the Lord said that like there is a spirit of witchcraft that is in operation. Yes. The spirit of witchcraft is in operation and uh, it, is, it is wide across the nation and it happens in a subtle way. See, when someone really think of an evil to happen for a believer, for a righteous, that is witchcraft. <laughs> so, and this spirit operates so, what do you call it, like subtle, in a subtle way, that's the right word. But the Lord says that he will expose the spirit of witchcraft and stop the power of witchcraft over your life. How many, how many of you believe that you are under the blood of Jesus? Yes. So because you are under the blood of Jesus, no witchcraft can make anything against you and no power of darkness or no hell can able to come against you and no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue that raises against you in condemnation you will confute, you will confront, you will rebuke. Because God has given you the authority. The enemy is defeated. The enemy cannot be able to operate with the spirit of witchcraft against your life. This is going to be the season of powerful deliverance. The Lord says that every area you are going through depression, every mind controlling enemies, every spirit that is causing you to uh, go down, the Lord says that I am bringing deliverance and breakthrough in my people here in this city, in this state and in the nation. That is going to be an amazing reversal that is going to happen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I see that the Lord is showing a beautiful vision of an olive leaf. And all you leave right now, God says that you, each one of you watching this or here, the Lord says you are the olive leaf. Olive leaf has an amazing potential. Even if it goes inside the water, it will stay fresh. We see that there was a huge flood and then many things happen. We see that the olives, olives, they usually don't go stale. They always stay fresh. There is a, there is a richness in the oil. Oil... Oil has no expiry. The Lord says, even shows that His divine oil is coming upon each one of you. Amen. His divine oil, His divine oil is coming upon each one of you like never before. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Father. Hallelujah. Every spirit of lying and every spirit of evil agenda and every spirit of false news and every spirit that is really causing so much of distraction and deception, yeah. that is the word. Yes. The deception spirit is going to be exposed in the nation. Amen. Yes, you hear one thing in one place and then you hear the truth in another place. Yeah. That needs to change because majority of the people in the nation are deceived. Yeah. Yeah. So the Lord wants to bring the deliverance from the deception spirit. So this is the reason why many families are separated. Deception spirit. Yes, it's amen. a deception. The deception causes families to separate. The deception causes nation to divide. The deception causes state to divide. The deception causes the priorities to change. It's a deception. You know, like um, when the leaders have are when the leaders are deceived, their choices are poor because they they make the minor major and major minor. That's what not na national level, international level. When the leaders are deceived, they take a minor problem to a major problem, but a major problem to a minor problem. But that spirit of deception must be exposed yeah. and it's a spirit. It is a spirit yeah. that makes the people and the nation and nations to use the resources for an evil cause. Yes. That's the main thing. So the, the media and every, every lying media and deception media and there is a spirit of Jezebel behind this lying media and also the lying deception yes. to make the people and everyone to believe in a narrative that really causes the people to stumble yeah. and make poor choices. But that spirit is going to be bound today in the name of Jesus. That spirit is going to be exposed in the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for such a time as this.
that your glory anointing is coming your favor is coming hallelujah mighty wonders are going to happen thank you jesus hallelujah thank you father hallelujah every illegal activity god told that every illegal activity in the nation and in the state be ceased in the name of jesus Amen. illegal drugs or illegal guns illi anything that is illegal in nature illegal entry the lord is going to push back every illegal thing yeah. that's a that's a legal way to do the right thing but there's a illegal way to abuse the things the lord is going to break the illegal patterns of the nation illegal doors of the nation illegal hallways illegal corridors and every every illegal patterns that the enemy is using it's going to be broken hallelujah this is the time of uh, the illegal things in the nation to be exposed and closed in the name of jesus illegal door entries in the southern border and everything that is termed as illegal will be closed and that's going to bring breakthrough that's a legal yeah. door to come into the nation that's a legal way regarding guns that's a legal way for everything the legal way will thrive but the illegal way will be closed in the name of yeah. jesus hallelujah this is going to make an amazing breakthrough thank you yes. father we praise you jesus the lord told that every word that the lord speaks it will never return back to him in void The Lord says that this nation and this state is going to see a powerful reversal a supernatural red sea open moment and as you enter into this breakthrough door you are going to see a powerful settlements and supernatural well being let's all stand up hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you lord for such a time as this we praise you glorious jesus hallelujah you are king of kings and the lord of lords hallelujah thank you father Oh we praise you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. We glorify your name. Hallelujah. We exalt your holy name Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you Father. We glorify your name Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even today the Lord is going to bring forth the powerful settlements. Yes. And establishments in your life. Hallelujah. These two things are going to happen the move of the holy spirit i see the number 9 number 9 represents holy spirit nine gifts of the spirit i see the number 9 for chicago thank you jesus god says my spirit will break every barriers every bondages my spirit will rekindle the fire my spirit will bring forth an amazing settlements in my people life hallelujah my spirit is upon you thank you jesus the lord is filling you with his spirit thank you glorious jesus hallelujah even today the lord is going to open the doors that are closed for you no no doors can be closed for you because god is opening the door for you doors of opportunity doors doors to move forward and press on hallelujah marvelous wonders are going to happen thank you glorious jesus hallelujah we praise you i see a mountain this mountain is really like a strong mountain like a strong hold i see that the lord is really splitting this mountain into half every every strong mountain that the enemy has built and sitting on top of the mountain i see that the lord is really splitting this mountain into half hallelujah, yeah. hallelujah. like the way how the red sea split it he is going to split this mountain this demonic mountains in this city in this states are going to be cut off hallelujah every demons hallelujah that they have built this mountain it's going to be cut off thank you jesus they said like this mountain belong to us this is a dark mountain that we are sitting on and we are operating i see that the lord the lord's hand i see the finger of the lord is really cutting off this mountain into half thank you jesus thank you jesus they cannot operate anymore they cannot function anymore i see there is a power outage in this mountain hallelujah they cannot able to operate in any demonic powers anymore because the lord is cutting off this mountain and i see that the lord is throwing this mountain into the sea hallelujah it is going to go down under the sea thank you jesus oh we praise you father that is going to be a breakthrough in the nation thank you father hallelujah i also see in this mountain there are lot of wicked plans and lot of blueprints lot of attacks terrorism all those plans are in this mountain but i see that the lord is really drowning this mountain so that this will not be functional anymore this plans of the enemy will not be functional anymore thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah thank you father